I'm not sure if y'all can see me. There we go. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel or whatever. I don't know this intro, mid-tro, outro, whatever tro. Here we go. So I'm actually about to drop the Camaro off for repairs today. So I'm in the car. Let's go ahead and give y'all a start. Whole start. <laughs> Y'all still can't see me. Oh, there we go. It's, the tent is so dark. I'm about to drop the car off now for repairs. And I got to get a rental car. So I'm curious to see what they're going to put me in. But I'm just documenting this whole thing, you know, the whole process. Even though the accident was small, and I'm very grateful there was nothing small. I mean, nothing major. Nobody was hurt. But it's a very inconvenience, like, just to go through the repair process, claims, insurance, wait time. It's just an inconvenience. So, but here's Red right here. Like, look how much taller Red is. When I'm sitting in this Camaro, I can barely see the roof of the truck. But yeah, she looking pretty good. Hey right, guys, I just dropped the car off here to get repaired one more time at the look. My Uber actually just arrived as well. How you doing? So anyway, yeah, we will get Camaro be gone for a little bit, but she'll be back on the channel soon. And yeah, we'll see when she's back. One eternity later. All right guys, so it's probably been, probably been two or three videos since y'all last seen the Camaro. But for me, it has been gone now for about a month, a whole month. And I'm not gonna cap, man. I'm kind of missing driving the car, like for real, for real. Yeah, we actually about to go pick it up here today. Y'all already know when it's time to drive the Camaro, you boy got the Vans on, you feel me? I don't care, they dirty, I don't even care. I think these gonna be my uh, driving shoes. If you're curious what I'm talking about with the Vans, I did the video on the tips for driving the manual. Go watch that video, I put a car right there so y'all kind of know what's going on. So you got red right here, as you can see. And I actually been putting a lot of miles on red lately since the Camaro has been gone. So she's been getting a lot of action and we got some problems. One, my heater is not getting hot anymore. Um, I haven't ran it since last winter. And as you know, it's starting to get cold here in Texas at nighttime and stuff or early in the morning. So you're trying to turn the heat on, but it's not working. <laughs> so I gotta take the uh, truck into the shop for the heat. And also I checked the coolant level again, guys, and I had lost some coolant. So I think they might be related. I'm not sure if the thermostat they put in there is not opening. I don't know. I looked up some briefly on it. I don't know. So she gotta go in the shop. She needs an oil change. Red is just needs a lot of stuff done. About to get ready to go drive. The wife is taking me. Uh oh, she needs my help. So anyway, yeah, I see y'all. We go to the Camaro. Oh. in the door. Oh, so they had a PPF all the way down yeah. here. Okay. And then, so we redid the bumper cover. Okay. You can see it. And I see it was here right here, and it's all good, man. I can see the, this the line for the. Oh, I see we all started. Okay. Yeah. Looks brand new. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, man. Got it cleaned up, washing everything. It's a little dusty. Ah, so, dude, it was way dirtier than this. Trust it me. Sits, it sits over there, and that dust just okay. flies out of the shop. Ah, okay, gotcha. Like, Gotcha, gotcha. We watched it again this morning. Oh, did you? Outside. Okay. Because it kind of got dusty and then yeah. it just got covered again. Not much I can do about nah, it. That's all good. It, it looks better than when I took it. I mean, bought it here to you, I promise. But yeah, guys, y'all didn't know. And guys, this is what? Is it linear or Lennar? Linear. 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 Like straight line linear, linear automotive. Like a linear foot. Yes, like, gotcha. Linear automotive guys here in Plano, man. Gotta do great work. Y'all was wrecking to me by one of my friends, and that's how I found you all. And I can, I mean, y'all see the proof right here. Looks brand new, can't tell nothing ever happened. And we re PPE, PPE too. So, yeah, we good to go. Thank you, you sir. Set? Yeah, okay. we gonna go finish up inside. Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, guys, we back in the Camaro, man. I gotta get familiar with this car all over again. It feels so foreign, bro. Uh, I knew we need to go put some air in the tires because they are pretty, they're not low. They're supposed to be at 32, they're at 30 and 31. So, I need to get some air first uh, before we get going. And let me just give y'all a quick rev real quick. Where we at? We in sport? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I missed it! I missed it! <laughs> so the video will probably go pick up the next day because it's getting pretty dark outside. And I don't know if I'm going to film on my way home, bro, because traffic is one is a mess right now in Dallas. Like it's five, six o'clock rush hour traffic. Number two, I haven't driven the car so long. I need to focus on driving and not on filming. So yeah y'all might y'all y'all see another clip here i don't know where it's gonna pick up at but just bear with me all right guys so it's been a few days since y'all saw that last clip but we got the car all back as you can see god this is a good looking car sheesh but anyway let me show y'all the damage how they repaired it guys look at that you can't even tell this car was bumped hit nothing like they did an amazing job fixing this guys like really really amazing it was right in here the ppe was messed up but look they fixed it so they put new ppe here um I think maybe on the front end and they actually said the ppe y'all saw went all the way down here on the front side here as well it's kind of what they did all the way down the door so and everything was covered and paid for by insurance guys we got look at this tent <laughs> 
Man, when I tell you that none of your business tent for real, you cannot see in my car in daytime, bro. <laughs> Go to the side. Hey, look at this. Man, you cannot. You know what I'm saying? Guys, good looking car. You want to know where I went? It was uh, Linear Automotive and Plano, man. They do great work. Scully, uh, Sully, excuse me, is a great guy. Super cool. he been doing this for a long time. He walked me through the process. I really had to do that. He like, this is about to happen. This is going to happen next. Then we go do this next. We go do this next. It was just easy. I didn't really have to do nothing, man. I did talk about the PPF and repainting. So we did decide just to go ahead and put the PPE back on the car without waiting the 30 days. He said, honestly, bro, the only reason you would take this off is if you get into another accident or something. He's like, otherwise, you just shouldn't come off. It's like, I mean, meaning like I shouldn't have to take it off. So hopefully I never had to take this off. So yeah, it's on there. Uh, we didn't wait, because I was worried about rock chips and all that, so. Left, turn right, then turn right on East Lookout Drive. Okay, that's the way to go. Okay, 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 okay. What's up everybody, it's your boy Q, you know who. Uh oh, y'all can see me back, 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 baby. Another video, I think I'm gonna kick with your boy Q today. So I'm leaving work. Red has to go to the dealership. Red been giving me problems, but I want y'all to hear this exhaust in the garage. It's loud, bro. Hit a turbo, I can hear him way in the dang cab. finally starting to get cold here in Texas. When I say cold, like it's like in the mornings now, it's getting to like the 50s. So in the morning now, when I get ready to go to work or to the gym, I need some heat. Like it's, it's cold enough to run the heater, but my heat is not working in the truck. Like it's literally just freaking blowing. Cold air, just, just cold air. So it's just kind of weird because last winter, it worked fine. So some between last February and it's now October, something happened that's causing uh, the heater not to work anymore. I know usually when you run your heater for the first time, it can um, take a second to heat up when you run it again for the first time if you haven't ran it in months. But literally I drove to work like twice now. It's about a good 35, 40 minute drive and the heater just doesn't get hot. So gotta take the truck in, see what's going on with the heater. And other than that, the truck has been pretty solid, man. It's just getting kind of old now. You know, it's 2015. She's getting a little up there in age, man. You know, the age starting to show a little bit, but that's fine. You know, you just that's just kind of part of owning the car, which is why some people lease. You don't have to deal with the maintenance. You just deal with routine oil changes, tire rotation, you turn it back in. If you do have any issues, it's usually covered under warranty. Hopefully it's nothing major because I also need new front brakes on this truck <laughs> as well. I gotta get the tires rotated and balanced. I just got the oil changed today. So it's just, it's just, just maintenance on the vehicle, man. It's part of it, but hopefully it's nothing too serious. We'll see. I'll see y'all and get up to the dealership. All right, guys, so we just dropped right off, as you can see there. So yep, we'll say bye. They got a very nice, what you call it up here? What y'all like a super wise duty uh, diesel up there. Uh, F-250 Ruby Red, just like mine. He has like some 26s and about 14s on it. Super nice truck. Oh, she got a lot of new F-150s out here. That's what you do to like that clean too, man. I think it's super nice. But anyway, we'll go over here and wait. And now we just wait to get picked up, per usual. What's up, man? It's what you This is the live video. So today's 10 26. This clip of the videos, October 26th, that you're watching. Y'all see, we got the Camaro right here. Um, you had a pretty good drive. That video will be coming. Uh, actually, ran against the Mustang and all that. But y'all can see Red is not here because the clip you saw, she's at the shop. So, this video, this part you see in the video is pretty current, guys. So, I'm making this part of the video because I think. I'm going to, well, I don't think I know. I think I'm gonna take a little break from YouTube, man, just right now, bro. When I say a little break, I mean like maybe a week or two. Your boy Q is tired. I'm like physically and mentally exhausted, guys. When I'm saying like, I'm just tired. Uh, I noticed it about a week or two ago, I just haven't had the same energy, enthusiasm. Um, just not just with YouTube, just with personal stuff, everything. Like I haven't worked out in like two weeks. I just been sleeping all day. I sleep during my lunch breaks. Me and Bria have, have had a lot going on since like late September up until, we have some planned all the way until like November 5th, I think, or November 11th. It's like our last thing we have planned. I say plan like parties, events, birthday celebrations, stuff going on, just personal stuff. So we have a lot going on or have been having a lot going on and I'm just tired. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Mentally, like just really like just can't think like my have like what do you call it, like creativity block i literally cannot like 
I gonna say think of content. I just don't feel mentally fresh. Like I'm just tired and I know I can feel it. So yeah, I'm gonna take like a week or two from YouTube off. Um, social media, I'm gonna disconnect from that too, man. Just for like a week, man. It's just, yeah, I'm just, social media, bro. You just get on there and you just see the same stuff over and over. And it's not people fault. How Instagram and TikTok, they reward you for the algorithm for following trends. So you go on Instagram, it's just like the same trends people doing over and over. So neither here nor there. Boy, just need a break. So I'm just gonna take a quick week or two off, man, and just refresh. And so in the meantime, man, this video or uh, any other video, just go ahead and comment below videos y'all would wanna see. Of course, with the truck or with the car. I'll do the best to make videos y'all wanna see. But anyway, yeah, I'll be I'll step away for a bit, man. I don't know when I'm coming back. I really don't know. Uh, we gonna see how long I just until I feel good again. But thank y'all for y'all patience. Thank y'all for the continued support. I really appreciate it, man. Like I said, I'll be back. I'm just gonna take a little time off. Uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next video. It's your boy Q. Peace. Yeah.